So can you tell us a little bit about what kind of authentic materials you use in the classroom? Well, authentic materials are pretty essential to, uh, to getting the message across. Um, I guess the biggest thing that we have today really is the internet though and, and, and while it's authentic it's not really it's not the actual real thing um, but kids can find out anything today on the internet they can do research on anything they can get a, a online dictionary they can um, put together their own projects they can do video clips for you so um, I think that's pretty authentic in terms of being like today. Um, in terms of authentic materials and language, target language materials, um, I use the best materials that I can get. Um, unfortunately, sometimes they're not as good as I'd like. Um, try to incorporate uh, music and songs and that kind of thing that is uh, some in the target language and help them learn that way. Use literature, um, use stories, um, video clips, that type of thing for authenticity. And um, I like to bring in different things that I've brought from my travels, um, like maps and brochures and uh, picture books or magazines as well. And I find that students do relate to that kind of material when they get their hands on it um, and some will take the time to actually read through it some you know will just sort of look at the pictures but I, I think it's important to, to bring in whatever you can um, so that's where it's kind of nice to travel <laughs> and collect things